Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, channel, and welcome back to FS News. Well, it looks like the weekend is over, and we are only just one day away from Halloween. Days are just starting to blur into one another. Well, last Friday, I wasn't able to get into some news, so we actually have a lot of news to catch up on today. We have some news from nine different modders. We have some news on the Chevy Silverado, plus some news on Alma's huge update. Now, the time of recording, which is 7.35 a.m. Central Standard Time, there is actually no test on list. But if one comes available while I'm recording, I'll try to get it in here. Uh, now for the question of the day, what kind of cell phone do you use? thought that actually would be a good one to see if anybody's using the same as someone else. Mine is a Motorola Edge Plus. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are using. Also, the last news video, you guys killed it with likes. We got over 500 likes. So thank you guys so much. Let's see if we can start the week off strong with 400 likes. So remember, before we get to that news, Make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll that intro. Let's get to this news. Welcome back. Okay, here we go with the first piece of news for today. And it's actually some bad news. The American two-car garage actually failed testing. He said he has already addressed the findings from Giants mod-up team, and he has already resubmitted his American two-car garage. He says, wish him luck for a round two. Hopefully this does pass, because it is an amazing garage. Would go perfect on Alma, Missouri. Now, the next piece of news is actually some fun news right here. This is actually from Shaben Modding. Uh, he says, does anybody have access to a John Deere 68 wagon? He is playing with the ideal of making one and needs a good reference photos and dimensions. If you are able to provide these, please contact him through the message button on his Facebook page. And I have his Facebook page, guys, down in the description. If you do end up making, well, if he does end up making this a mod, the person who provides pics will get credit and early access to the mod. Well, of course, if you're on PC. So that's actually interesting right there. So if you guys would like to do that, make sure you guys head over to his Facebook page and message him with some pics and stuff like that. After that, we have actually a couple pieces of news actually from our good friend Chibaki. The first one is a huge one, and this is about a new map. He says, how would you like your hometown as a map in Farming Simulator? What do you guys think about that? He says he believes that this is the first time in FS franchise that players can participate in deciding which map will be made for Farming Simulator 22. So he will actually be creating the map, and all you will have to do is send him information about the future map. Sounds good, of course, but there will be certain criteria that must be met when submitting a map proposal. So it's going to have a, have to have a creek or river. It's got it's going to have to have a railway. It's going to have to have a small forest. And he says roads, especially in populated areas, must be covered with Google Street View. And five, the map cannot be completely flat. Maps with rolling hills are much nicer, at least for him. If you guys would like to send a submission, make sure you guys do it through, of course, his Gmail. Uh, I will actually have a link to his Facebook, which you guys can actually see the posts and it will show his Gmail. So definitely do not forget about that. He's going to be collecting it all the way till January 1st of 2024. So get your submission in, guys. And now the last piece of news from Chibalki is about, of course, the big Alma update. What will be included with this big Alma update? Added greenhouse with new fruits, apple, orange, lemon, pineapple. Oh, great. <laughs> He's also added new placeable building, juice factory with new products, apple juice, orange juice, lemonade, and pineapple juice. What's up with all the pineapple stuff? He's also added new product in the bakery, apple pie. Now that sounds good. Added new product in the pizzeria, pineapple pizza. <sighs> he's also added placeable for mentor silo, and he's fixed the sheep barn fence. Sheep will no longer go outside the fence. Actually not seen any problems with that. So I don't know about that, but this should not include a new save. Well, should not require a new save because it's going to be as a placeable. So some really good news from Chibalki. After that, we have some news from 4D modding about his Abbey 3000 tanker. It is now in game. He says he still has some work to do on it in game. He says the wear and dirt textures need to be completed and then should be ready for release. This mod has a fully dynamic drawbar suspension and flexible dynamic mud flaps and many more options. Will be for all platforms. He says he cannot release the 8210 as this is not their mod. Then we have some news from Team IWMM, and this is about a new tanker, as you see from these pictures right here. Looks like a fuel tanker, but the difference is, as you see in the first picture I showed, it actually looks like we're gonna be able to actually pick it up. 
So it looks like it's going to be actually transportable. At least I'm hoping it is. So that is something we can look forward to very soon from Team IWMM. Also looks like that CMT software is also going to be doing an update on the New Holland 70 series. What's going to be changed with this one? Interactive control support. Uh, let's see, US version is going to be also coming with that and a crop sensor support on that one. Then LR Modding has an update on his John Deere N560 no-till air drill 60 foot. So the progress on this one is actually, let's see, modeling is 100% done. UV mapping is 100% done. Texturing is 100% done. Odom is 100% done. Giants editor is about 75% done and in game it is 0% done. There is no news yet if this is actually gonna be for all platforms or just for PC as of yet. And then the last piece of news we have is probably what a lot of people are waiting for. And this is about, of course, the Chevy Silverado. This is probably one of the most asked questions I get every single day about where is this or what is the progress of this? And if it's gonna be actually coming out or if it's gonna be coming out on console. Well, I can tell you it's gonna be coming out on console. Here is the progress on it. He can say that he has made great progress already on it, but he has not finished it 100% yet. But it is looking really good as you see from these pictures right here. So just a little bit of patience. This will be coming out. People were saying the same thing about the F-350 and it finally came out and it's a great mod. Besides those brakes need to be a little bit tweaked on that, which an update is supposed to be coming out for that pretty soon, hopefully. Well, that right there was all the news for today. Not bad for a Monday right there. Okay. Now, today's schedule, we do have a live stream, so it's a little bit different tonight. We actually have a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, but it will not be Farming Simulator. Since it's close to Halloween, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be doing about a game called Phasmophobia, which is kind of a scary game. So that should be fun. This week's schedule is a little bit different. I will be streaming on, let's see, tonight, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. No live stream Saturday or Sunday because I will actually be in Branson going to Silver Dollar City. All right, anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. A like would be appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome to the channel. Like always, if you have not hit that sub button, make sure you guys do. And definitely do not forget to ring that bell. Have an amazing night, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.